I was supposed to go to college and I joined a band. Like a rock band? <laughs> I was the lead singer in a band. So we have two interviews in New York. First interview, Stacy Spikes, who was one of the creators of MoviePass, where you pay $10 a month and you get to see an unlimited amount of movies at the theaters. I'm personally very excited. I'm really looking forward to this interview. So are you guys all asking me the questions? Okay. We just love to know like what your early years were like, you know, like what built you to today. When I got out of high school, I was supposed to go to college and I joined a band. Like a rock band? I was the lead singer in a band. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and I told my parents, I'm gonna take the summer off and I'll be back. And I never came back. I went to Los Angeles to kind of pay my bills. I got a job at a record label. I ended up in the marketing department and all of a sudden they gave me a band and it ended up being Boys to Men. Oh, wow. And so Boys to Men took off. That's one of those I was standing at the right place at the right time. And I think a lot of people believed I had something to do with it, which it doesn't. <laughs> and then I was representing, I did Spike Lee soundtrack representing Queen Latifah, Boyz II Men, Eddie Murphy, by the time I was 21. Then I went to Miramax, and I became a vice president of marketing there. I then spun off my own company, because I was like, why am I making all these people money? I should make my own money. Yeah. At what point in your life did you start the film festival for minorities? Like, what pushed you, what, what struck that chord for you? I had gone to Sundance, mm -hmm. And it was very odd to me that there were so few people of color in the films that we were seeing. So I went and met with the person who at the time was head of the festival. And I went to him and I said, there seems to be a lot of work that you guys aren't showing. And he said to me, well, if it were good, we would show it. And I said, but good according to who? I had this resentment because it was like, here's a gatekeeper who was preventing certain groups' stories from being told. It pissed me off. I couldn't sit in the seat I was in, had risen that high in film and cinema distribution, and not give back. Oh, I get my check, but I can't help. It just eats away at you. It doesn't let you sleep. It, the filmmakers, your family members, every friend that you know that has a story, you suddenly realize, if I don't fight for that, their stories don't get told. Yeah. And then I left and I created my own company. My whole thing was, I'm gonna make a black, Latino, Asian Sundance or Cannes Film Festival. That was kind of my mantra in my mind. Why didn't you like decide to make movie pass? I, this is actually true what I did. I sat in front of a whiteboard and I drew one circle that said theaters. I drew another circle that said customers and I had a third circle that said credit cards. I said, well, we need to devise a way that I go to the theater and you guys go to the theater, but we should all be able to load our cards independently. And at the time, there was no such thing. People said no for five years. I couldn't raise money for five years. Five years? Five years. How'd you keep yourself going? I was doing the film festival. I see. I had two jobs. I went to work all day. I worked at nights and weekends. And right after we would get done with the festival, I'd kind of take my little deck and I'd go back out on the road. And people were like, get out of here with that. I just kept going and going and going and going and going. And no was not an option. And eventually we were able to get funding. His story was so crazy. He pushed all of these artists, he developed his skills, and he recognized his obligation to his community. And I think maybe that goes to show that it, it's not always about the money. There should be more. Every person has problems, right? They have a mountain that they have to overcome. 
but your weaknesses become your strengths. So I didn't go to college, but that gave me a four year jump on the marketplace. I don't know how to code, but that lets me look at problems without thinking about what I can't do. I am a person of color, so I don't have at times the same access to capital, but it makes me more intelligent about how I attack marketplaces because I can't afford large budgets. So whatever you choose, there aren't restrictions. Those are things designed to help you be better. You have the opportunity to be the one who walks through doors that is first, right? If you get through that door and keep it open, other people can run through it behind you. You're all sitting here because of those efforts. But there's something about when you're running with purpose, you have the energy, you find it. That drives you. We can go make something together. Let's go make history. Let's go climb Everest. I tried to tell you they want your friends, but you wasn't even trying to hit. Hey there, Ben from Road Trip Nation here. Thanks for watching that interview. We have lots more inspirational content. You can check it out here. Also, hit the subscribe button.